I'm Dr. Reva Pearl of Revitalized Physical Therapy. Today's episode of Pelvic Pearls will focus on male pelvic floor anatomy and function. The male pelvis is heavier and has more prominent attachment sites for muscles and ligaments compared to the female pelvis. Similar to the female pelvis, which runs front to back or anterior to posterior from the pubic bone to the coccyx or tailbone, the male pelvic floor does the same. The bladder sits behind the pubic bone and the rectum sits in front of the coccyx and the sacrum. The prostate is inferior or beneath the bladder. The urethra travels from the bladder through the prostate and then through the penis. The urine travels from the bladder through the urethra to outside of the body. Now, the male pelvic floor muscles are also in three layers, similar to the female pelvic floor muscles. The most superficial layer of male pelvic floor muscles contain the ischiocavernosis muscle, the bulbocavernosis muscles, which are also called the bulbospongiosis, and the superficial transverse perineal. And there's both a left and right for each of these muscles. All of these muscles are innervated by the pudendal nerve. The ischiocavernosis muscles help to move blood into the body of the erect penis. The bulbocavernosis or bulbospongiosis muscles help to move blood from the penis into the glands, aids in propelling urine through the urethra, and helps with propulsion of semen during ejaculation. The superficial transverse perineal muscles help to stabilize the perineum. The external anal sphincter is also in this layer of muscles, and the external anal sphincter helps to close the anal canal. Moving into layer two, or the intermediate muscle group, we have the deep transverse perineal muscles, which lie just beneath the superficial transverse perineal muscles, and those help to stabilize the perineal body. We also have the external urethral sphincter, which must relax in order to urinate, and the compressor urethra muscle is also in this layer. The third and deepest layer of pelvic floor muscles, which are also called the levator ani muscle group, similar to the female pelvic floor, contains the pubococcygeus, the iliococcygeus, puborectalis, and the coccygeus muscles. The pubococcygeus and iliococcygeus muscles help form the pelvic floor, support the viscera or the organs, and helps to reinforce the external anal sphincter. The puborectalis muscle is the muscle that needs to relax in order to defecate.